Hello, and welcome to our new workshop. In today's workshop, I would like to show you how a data backup of our paper office database, which is located on the QNAP NAS, can be carried out. I will explain two different backup methods. First method creates an automated daily backup of your database, which you can import at any time later without changing your QNAP NAS. The second method, which would come into question when using a new QNAP NAS, more precisely, a database migration to the new QNAP NAS and is explicitly described in detail in the third part of the workshop series. Preparatory measures for the migration are briefly displayed at the end of the first part of the workshop. First method, database backup from paper office. The process is very easy. First, we go to the paper office settings and select the entry database, backup, and export. After the entry has been opened, we have to select a backup folder under Data Backup. If you have already defined a default directory for backup, you can skip this point. I now select a pre-configured folder, and as the next step, I am shown the storage path. To the right of it, you can specify the number of days backed up. In our example, this means that the data will be backed up for the last 10 days. From the 11th day, the oldest data backup will be overwritten, and so on. Under the next point, when paper office will be finalized, we can define further options. If I tick the box next to Suggest Data Backup, paper office asks at the end of the program whether a data backup should be carried out. Of course, we can also force the data backup by ticking the box next to Perform Backup Without Warning. However, I leave the setting on the optionally performing. Now I must save my details and click on Save Changes then close the settings window. At the next step, I close Paper Office by clicking on the X button at the top right and confirming the subsequent query with OK. Through our previously specified option for data backup, I now receive the query about the data backup. To do this, I click on Yes, Perform, and confirm the message with OK. The data backup is now carried out. This may take a moment depending on the number of files and folders. After the backup has been completed, Paper Office will automatically close. I now briefly go into the folder that I had selected for the backup and see that a new subfolder with the data backup has been created. Second method, prepare for the database migration. If we want to do a complete database migration in the future, as in the case of a new QNAP NAS, we need the database name, username, and password of the current database. We can easily find out by starting Paper Office, then disconnecting from the database, and then connecting again. I'll show you how to do it. After Paper Office started up and the login window was displayed, I click on Options and then on Continue and Manage Database Connection. I am now disconnecting from the database by clicking the red button, Disconnect the Database Connection. Then I am redirected to the login window where I click on Continue. In the next step, I click on Start Database Manager and select QNAP NAS. After that, I select Integrate Existing Paper Office Database. Under the second point, I enter the IP address of my QNAP NAS and the port number and confirm the entries with Check Information, Save, and Continue. Now we have to select the two keys that were already generated during the database creation. Check the box next to Display Database Access Data and click on Check and Continue. All the necessary information is now displayed. As shown in the message window, we now press Control plus the C key to copy the values to the clipboard. I go to the QNAP folder and create a text file. Name it dbqnap. I open the text file I just created and then click the key combination Control plus V to copy the values. Then I format the text a bit and save my details. These are the access data from the QNAP NAS database that I will need later in the third part of the workshop when I migrate the database to a new QNAP NAS. So I close the window and click OK. This concludes the workshop. This is how quickly and easily you can make settings for the data backup of your QNAP NAS database. If you would like to find out which additional functions PaperOffice has, visit our other videos, subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay informed about the latest workshops, or visit our website. Thank you for watching.